go ahead and add this one to it. Every time you use a new skateboard, the bushings, which is what stabilizes the turns and the trucks, are always extremely flimsy. Over time, they will stiffen. You just gotta break the board in. Apex 7 bearings. Probably the most frequently used bearings in normal skateboards. This board costs $60. If you're planning on building your own skateboard, expect to spend a hundred plus dollars. What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. Huge shout out to Yokoher for making this video possible. Be sure to send them some love. Ready? First ride on the new skateboard. Give me. Go. Damn, that thing is glossy. Go ahead, go, go, go ahead. Oh my gosh. time I rode a skateboard I ate shit straight into a bush pretty light board it's nice I like it watch out giveaway at the skate park of the brand new board I'm just kidding KZE how do you break look at him just wanting to pull oh my gosh this is where this is where the problem is Smaller wheels, look at that. Would I recommend using a normal skateboard to run your dogs? If you know that the floor you'll be riding in is smooth, then a normal skateboard is for sure the best option. But when you start messing with the little cracks and all the little twigs, that's when things can start to get dangerous. A longboard will always be most stable at high speeds. Skating is pretty simple. Of course, all this will take time. If you put time into skateboarding, you will see improvements. Now this here is a normal skateboard. Most recommended if you're trying to do tricks since it's so light. So if you're trying to become a skateboarder and not a cruiser, just knowing how to skate is an awesome feeling. I haven't ridden a skateboard since I fell into that bush. A couple tips I would give you guys for anybody trying to learn how to skate. There is different sizes of skateboards. If you guys do not own a skateboard and are looking for a better way to exercise your dog, I'll throw the link down in the description. This thing gets the thumbs up for me much safer than the skateboard I built. Let's go break this thing in. Things like these is where you really have to be careful with a normal skateboard. Even with the longboard, this can be pretty difficult to get over. So you always, you always, oh my gosh, when you're riding a skateboard, you don't really want to keep your front foot all the way forward or else you're going to pop a nose manual. Smooth as butter. Ooh. Oh 
always go slow enough where you can halt safely. Ready, go ahead. I like pears. <laughs> and be it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace out. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.